This is another day God has added to your life. And thank God for his mercies and your faithfulness, and which will never fail. One more day has been given to you that you may experience God's miraculous provisions, protections, and healing, and his fullness in your life. I would like to share something with you today from the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Chapter 11 defined and described faith that you read from verse 1 to 3. And then from verse 4 to 40, faith is illustrated and demonstrated. One of the things the saints did by faith was it says by faith they were able to obey the difficult commands that God gives. For example, one day God appeared to this man Abraham who was living at the time in the city of Ur. Now the city of Ur, his hometown, was a very uniquely blessed city. It was a modern city at that time. Its buildings were double stories and triple stories. The city had a wonderful, efficient water supply system. The city also was wealthy. It was a business city. Abraham's family itself was a wealthy people. They had the business of making gods and selling them. And uh, it also had uh, one of the best libraries at that time. And so in many ways, the city was a modern city. And suddenly God appeared to him one day and told him, Abraham, I want you to leave the city and leave your home and leave all your familiar surroundings and start walking. Now it was a very difficult command. How suddenly this God is asking Abraham to get out. Abraham did not know intimately this God at that particular moment. Later on, he not only became very intimate, but God himself called him his friend. But at this moment, he did not know. But nevertheless, he obeyed. What made him obey? Because there were, there were several aspects of this command that God did not explain to him. There were questions. The questions were, but Lord, where? Where should I go? And God did not tell him. He simply said, you come out. And then the next question was, uh, how? Uh, how means how he can be a blessing to all the nations because along with the command, God also gave him certain promises that he would bless him and he will be a blessing to the nations and through his descendants, all the nations will be blessed and he will be like a king and God gave him all these promises but then for Abraham it was a strange thing how these things are going to be fulfilled and another question was but now when when will the promises be fulfilled and then another question was why and that why question was related to at a later time when God was commanded by God to take his one son and only son Isaac which he received at a waiting 25 long years after the promise was given. And suddenly God appeared to him again later on and say, you take your only son and offer him as a sacrifice, a burnt offering to me. Now these were the commands that uh, Abraham received from time to time. By faith, he was enabled to obey God, though he had no answers to many of these questions. God did not tell him why he should sacrifice his son Isaac. Because Isaac was the one through whom God was going to bless all the nations. 
Will you have, I ask this question, only for this question I am sharing this thought to you. Will you have such a daring faith to obey God even when you do not have answers to these questions? Where, when, how, and why? Will you live such a life if God has commanded you certain things? And you will read his orders, his commands in God's word. Will you have such a daring faith to obey? And it is for this kind of faith God is looking for. Like Abraham. He obeyed every time God told him some command or gave him some command without giving much explanation. But he nevertheless by faith obeyed. Did Abraham ever regret it? No, he never re regretted for obeying God. And today we know, even after 4,000 years, Abraham lived. His name still stand high. Three major religions of the world claim him to be the, the father of their religion. And that's why he is called the father of the faithful. And you do not know what an impact you will make on humanity or at least the world around you when you have such a daring faith to obey instead of waiting for all the answers. And if you think that uh, if God let, let me know everything and once I understand everything, then I will obey. If you wait, you are no better than others who doubt. But when you have this daring faith to obey God, any command that you read in God's word, there lies the secret of God's amazing blessing that will come not only upon you, but also through you to the world around you. May God help you to have such a daring faith. Thank you. God bless you.